And so, in Western Africa, in the region of modern-day Mauritania, the city of Chinggeti was established in 777 AD. At this time, the Empire of Ghana controlled a largest quantity of territory in the region before the Empire of Mali took over as the major West African powerhouse in 1235 AD. The oasis city of Chinggeti was located in the south of Western Sahara in an area called the Adra Plateau. Shingeti served as a major trading hub within the region and formed part of the network of cities across Western Africa that provided the foundation of the Trans-Saharan trade routes. Other locations of importance for trade which surrounded Shingeti included Wadan to the north, Olatani, Chitit, and finally, Odogast to the west. The trade of gold, salt, ivory, cloth, paper, spices, leather, and books was conducted in abundance between these cities and others within the Trans-Saharan trade network. This trading center connected the Mediterranean in Europe with Sub-Saharan Africa. Desert caravans were the source of Chinggeti's economic prosperity with as many as 30,000 camels gathering there at the same time. Chinggeti often served as a place of rest for Africans on their journey from Western to Eastern Africa when on their pilgrimage to Mecca in Arabia. As during this period, Islam was already well established as a religion. The journey from Chinggeti to Arabia was a long one and could take up to six months. And so, oasis cities such as Chinggeti were required. Chinggeti itself was divided into two centers, which were separated by a valley also known as a wadi. For the construction of buildings and homes in the area, both stone and mud brick were utilized. In terms of architectural design, they preferred creating flat roofs, timbered from palms. They also constructed the Chinggeti Mosque, which featured a large open courtyard, prayer room, and square minaret tower. Now, the West Africans of the region held knowledge and education in high regard, and the nearby city of Timbuktu had already been established as the book trading center of the world at the time, and also the world center of Islamic learning, with over 700,000 manuscripts collected there. They developed the libraries of Chinggeti which served as a center for the creation of thousands of detailed manuscripts on various topics, inclusive of, but not limited to, science, mathematics, religion, poetry, geography, mysticism, medicine, geometry, history, astronomy, and Islamic law. Chinggeti was also known locally as the City of Libraries. At this time, the city was a thriving African metropolis, consisting of over 200,000 residents. As thousands of learned men passed through this city, the exchange of religious and scientific ideas took place, and the reputation of the small city flourished across Western Africa. People from all over the Islamic world traveled to the Chinggeti libraries to learn and to study. Chinggeti acquired such a prominence and distinction that it was known throughout the Islamic world as a spiritual and intellectual capital. Manuscripts were written in Hausa, Arabic, Songhai, Hassaniya, Fulani, and other Sudanic languages. Many manuscripts were on parchment made from the skin of sheep, goats, gazelle, and also paper and hemp. The Africans of Chinggeti were extremely skilled in the art of bookbinding, characteristics of which included using cover boards made of several leaves of paper pasted together to increase the flexibility of the cover. 
the flat spine and the choir sewn without support. Leather was also used to make richly decorated sleeve cases to protect the books from the sand and to carry them around, especially on camels. Inside the books, beautiful calligraphy, decoration, and sometimes traces of gold were used to illustrate. The city of Chinggeti still exists to the present day and remains one of the world's most important historical sites, both in terms of the history of Islam and the history of West Africa. Thank you.